Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that I've been MIA for like the past two months. There's just been a lot going on and I just haven't had the time to film. But because it's the first week of summer, well like summer's about to start tomorrow. Today is June 20th. Um, I just decided this is a perfect time to film this video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Where it's basically like a summer glow up but in four different parts. And yeah, before we get started, I just want to show you guys my nails. They're so freaking cute. I got them done by Gloss Studio um in oakville and i also want to show you guys my candles that are launching this saturday so by the time this video is out these candles are already up so if you guys don't know i do own an anime candle business and here we have miss luna and here we have mr artemis is that focused i hope it is i'm doing like a sailor moon pop-up which is why i made these two candles by the way i did get some comments about my nose job and an updated version um i will film that video soon but for now this is how my nose is looking it's been two months since the surgery it's it's good it's going well the tip is still swollen but it's going well so yeah today as i said we're going to be talking about a summer glow up and not just any summer glow up this summer glow up is going to focus on physical aspects mental spiritual and overall health because I feel like, yes, you can glow up physically. And although the physical is really important, there's so many other things to take care of in there. So we're going to get into all of that and let's get started. So let's jump in with the physical aspects. So in order to physically glow up, there's a couple things that I do daily, weekly, monthly, and then just sort of like sporadically whenever I can. Obviously, like daily, there's certain things that everyone does to just maintain their hygiene. And obviously, those things are going to continue throughout the entire year. But what I change in the summer is... So when I take my daily shower, I don't just put lotion on. I also put on a gradual self-tanning lotion. In the summer, I want to look nice and glowy. I want to be a little bit more tan because I'm fucking Caucasian. I'm very fucking pale. So I use the Hawaiian Tropics Daily Self-Gradual Tanning Milk. That's a fucking mouthful. But honestly, it's really good. Like I use it every day and I don't notice any like major streaks. As long as you blend it out nicely, it gives like a really nice color. And I'd say like it lasts and it does build up. So when you're using it daily, it does make your skin a lot more uh, tan. And then it also helps if you're wearing like actual fake tan. It helps like prolong the use of that. Obviously, like clear skin is something that I strive for year round, but I notice that in the winter, my skin gets a lot worse. Um, I think it's just to do with the weather and the way that everything kind of dries out. So my oil production like heightens and then I break out more. And I've been like struggling with like cystic hormonal acne for the past couple of years, ever since I turned 19. So I got a wave of adult acne, which is really fucking annoying. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why I haven't tried Differin sooner because I'm telling you, like, it has absolutely changed my skin. Um, so I've been using Differin, but as like a mask. So I, I don't keep it on all night because with the Differin or with any sort of like retinol products, there's a huge chance that you're going to experience a purge. And with the purge, you're going to get a bunch more acne um, before it goes away. And you can also have a lot of skin irritation and dryness. But what I've been doing is short contact therapy. So essentially, I take my Differin, I put it on, like I wash my face, you know, take off my makeup, dry my face fully. I put my Differin on and I leave it on for up to 30 minutes as like a mask. And then I take another cleanser, just like a very gentle one, cleanse it off, put on my hydrating skincare. And I do that basically every other day. And number one, the texture of my skin baby like baby's fucking butt it's so smooth it really helped like my skin become a lot smoother second i have not really been breaking out like i'll get little tiny pimples here and there like when i was traveling every time i travel i just break out um and you know around my period there may be a little bit but i haven't had any cystic acne and cystic acne is horrible it's so painful and i just hate it I haven't had any of that um and i've only been using it since i came back from turkey so basically the end of April. So it's been like a month and a half and I've already seen such a huge improvement. When it comes to weekly sort of things that I implement, so as I mentioned with my tanning thing, I do a weekly self tan um, every Sunday. I use the uh, either the Hawaiian Tropics tanning mousse um, or the Bondi Sands uh, dark mousse or I tried this new one, which is the Saint Tropez uh, one hour express and I actually really liked it. Uh, so I usually do this on Sunday and before doing this, you know, I'll exfoliate everything. I'll shave everything. That's like my one crazy shower day where like I'm taking so freaking long in the shower because I'm shaving. I'm doing all that. 
and I find that my tan lasts basically the entire week because I'm also following it up with the self tan like little milk yeah I just love it I feel like it just makes me look a lot better I haven't self tanned in like two weeks that's why I look so pale uh, but that is my sort of weekly ritual. In addition to that, I wash my hair like a couple times a week. But I feel like in the summer, I have to sort of increase that because I'm I'm a sweaty ass girl. Like I'll admit it, I sweat a lot. And especially at the gym. And my hair just gets greasy faster. So in the summer, I like to use clarifying shampoos more often. Uh, still not more than like twice a month. Just because I don't want it to strip too much of my natural oils. But I feel like in the summer, my hair overall looks better. Not today. I slept with my hair wet. So it looks kind of crazy. Um, but... I've been using a couple different products and sort of like doing my hair a little bit differently and I've really been loving using a mousse. So my hair is wavy and there are parts of it that curl which you might not see today because like I said it's up with my hair literally soaking wet so it dried horribly. Um, but I've been using the this Marc Anthony uh, curl sort of mousse. I just take a really small amount and like just scrunch that through my hair. It doesn't leave any like weird cast. It doesn't leave any stickiness or dryness. And I just find that it helps my hair look a lot more bouncy. Like I'll show you in this little clip that I've inserted here. Um, yeah, and I really love it. Now the last things for the physical are things that I kind of do like monthly and here and there. So manicures. I feel like I haven't got my nails done in so long because of work and stuff. Now that it's summer, who's going to stop me? Nobody. Same thing with pedicures. I'm not showing my feet for free on here, but I do get, I want to get a monthly pedicure. I always get shellac and I feel like it lasts so long and I just love it. Like your feet just feel so freaking smooth. And like when I get a pedicure done, I just want my toes out. Like I just want to wear shoes that are open toed. <laughs> but I don't know, like they just look cute, you know, like I, if I'm getting them done, I might as well show them, right? This summer, what I want to do is book like one to two facials, you know, maybe one every other month. Um, or like skincare treatments just so that I can really get my skin on point. In addition to this, something that I completely like miss is that for physical and which it can also go to other things, but for physical, something I do every single day is get 140 grams of protein um, as long with some sort of movement. So my movement of choice is weightlifting. I weightlift about five to six days a week. And then I also incorporate cardio like after my sessions. I also incorporate an entire like flexibility, mobility day, and three times a week, I'm also doing stretches like to practice my splits. Personally, I want to look my best. I want to be able to wear whatever I want and know that I feel good in it. And I work so hard throughout the entire year so that my then all that muscle, all the progress that I've made can really come and shine in summer. And a way for me to maintain all of that and to continue growing is to be eating enough. So I do try to get 140 grams of protein in. Uh, I usually eat three to four meals, usually four, and then I'll have like one shake and like one snack. And throughout that, I can get my total protein intake. My current goal right now is to do a little bit of, like, I don't want to lose any weight. I just want to lose some fat um, so that I can have like more visible muscle. <sighs> but it's hard, man, because like being in any sort of deficit, even close to a deficit, I have ridiculous hunger cravings. Um, and I just have to sort of train my body to accept this new short-term little deficit. Yeah, basically that is everything with physical. It's not really too different um, because I don't have like a crazy focus on the physical. Obviously, I want to look my best, but I feel like by doing these things, I do look my best. And when I look good, I feel good. So yeah, now we're going to get into the mental. So if you guys know me, you know that I am extremely busy. So I have two jobs both that like equal for full-time hours together. I also do bartending on the side. I also run a business. I'm also doing my master's. Um, so I'm extremely busy. And what I've noticed that I want to do and that I've been implementing so far with summer is to actually take breaks, which I know just sounds crazy, but I don't like, I don't do that. I don't take breaks. So I've tried to make it more um, intentional where I'll finish all the work I need to do. And when I'm done, whatever's on my to-do list for that day, I stop right there. Because what I notice is that a lot of times I'll go back and I just keep adding more things that I know have to be done throughout the week. But instead of spreading them out throughout the week, I'm like, okay, let me just let me just pile it all in on one day. So my, my number one thing that I'm doing this summer to help me mentally is let myself stop when, you know, I've done enough work and allow myself to be okay with that without feeling like pressured that I have to do more without feeling guilty. So it's been it's been interesting because like I'll finish my work sometimes early and then it's like 8 p.m. And I'm like, wait, like, what am I supposed to do now? 
Um, and I've been using that time to do other things, you know, which I'll talk about in the spiritual portion, um, or even just, you know, watch Netflix, whatever, just relax a bit. Um, I've really been enjoying doing that. A second thing for my mental that I want to do, and I, I can't say that I'm doing it right now, but I really, really, really want to, is to go outside in nature more in the form of like walks around my neighborhood and you know even just like sitting in my backyard more and just like being in nature i feel like i'm like cooped up in my room literally every single day unless like i have to go somewhere i don't know i feel like with summer i don't get to appreciate all the beauties of the outdoors and i love my neighborhood so much it's so pretty i want to go on more walks and just like go to little trails and stuff and do things outdoors because I really do feel good when I'm outside and yeah that is something that I'm going to implement. Next for my mental, I really do like journaling and I've been journaling like sporadically here and there for like months on and off but I feel like now I've created it into my daily routine that when I wake up and before I go to bed I'll just write a little bit in my notes app in my little journal section and I find that sometimes even throughout the day if I'm like just obsessively thinking about things I will go and write in my journal and automatically I feel better because I'm able to just break down my thoughts a little bit and sometimes you want to just say something, you want to talk, you just need to say something but you have no outlet to say it to so journal's perfect for that. Besides journaling, I also just talk to myself like literally all the time especially when I'm driving like I'll have entire just sessions of me talking and I find it so helpful because as I'm speaking to myself, I'm finding answers to my own problems. It's kind of like, like I'm helping myself because like, let's say I'm confused about a situation, I'm confused about something, there's something that I'm frustrated about. As I'm talking to myself, I slowly understand things better and then I'm able to sort of give myself answers. And in, in addition to mental, I've just been really trying to take more time for myself. I feel like I stretch myself really thin between all the things that I'm doing and then also like going out with people and sort of like, saying yes a bit too easily um and don't get me wrong i i really love my friends i really want to go out i really want to have a great time with everyone um but i also feel like i like being home i like being alone and i've really learned these past like two months how to really sit in with that feeling of being by, alone being by myself um and i really enjoy it so yeah these are the things that i've been doing to just mentally help me and mentally help me glow up for the summer Another thing I want to mention about mental, because I don't really know where this would fall in terms of categories, but it's basically money. And I've been really influenced by my friend Sana, who is like super into finance, um, to just better be, be better be knowledgeable about my money and what I'm doing with it. So I've basically set a specific goal of money every month that I'm going to move from my account and move into my investment account and keep building my portfolio. Um, and then, you know, have some money on the side for emergencies. And then the biggest thing about this is actually tracking my expenses and creating a budget. So I haven't been tracking my expenses for a long time because I just don't want to see what I'm spending money on because I know it's not, they aren't really good things. Um, and my tuition is really expensive. So it basically cuts out a huge part of my monthly paycheck. But what I've been doing is keeping my receipts and just overall like tracking things that I've been spending. I have a spreadsheet that I've been putting everything in. And then I'm sort of looking at it to see what I'm spending and I'm creating goals. You know, for example, I'm going to spend this much on food, this much on clothing, this much on, you know, whatever, like experiences, excursions um, on top of all my other bills. So it's been going OK so far. I've definitely been a little bit over my budgets, but it's hard because in the summer, there's just the most things to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to be smart about my money. Next, we are on to spiritual. So. I recently had a situation a couple months ago sort of like kickstart my spiritual journey back into sort of like getting in touch with my faith so i am born an orthodox christian and for many years i just was really confused about where exactly i fit um and sort of the labels that were put onto me i feel like i've turned away a lot from religion for many different reasons but the more I thought about it, the more my reasons kind of didn't make sense to me. There was no like concrete answer other than the fact that I don't know if these things are true or not. So that's why I felt like maybe I shouldn't believe certain things. But then I realized like it doesn't matter if something's true or not. Like even just having a belief in something is important. And the things that I already be believed were like outside of religion or were, were all things that were all already ingrained in Christianity. So I feel like I've just been slowly learning more about my Orthodox faith. And I've actually really like it. I'm surprised, I guess, when I'm reading certain things because I was never taught my religion in this way. 
and there's so many things that I like really resonate with so I've been taking some time to just read more about my faith and just try to learn like where exactly I stand and sort of what role I want like religion to play in my life um, and in order for me to sort of figure these things out more I've been I guess I'd say like praying more and I like my form of prayer is just like talking to like God and I'm not gonna get into like all of my you know specific beliefs and all of that but yeah I've just been using like prayer more and just trying to understand things better and like looking for you know asking for signs and clarity about certain things and I feel like I've got the signs that I was looking for I've I just now have to sort of like interpret them but I feel like a really intense connection with the divine or I guess like with the spiritual world that I haven't really felt in a long time and I feel like everywhere I look I'm like getting answers to things I'm like sort of like reminded that I'm not alone that like my guardian angels are with me that like God is with me so it's been a really interesting process that's like kind of the main thing like through prayer and just through learning um and just being open-minded I am trying like my best to keep a very open mind and just like let everything come to me and yeah it's still a work in progress sometimes I find myself like praying and getting like off topic getting off track because it's not something that I've been consistently doing for a long time I'm enjoying this feeling of like just feeling so connected and I like having the belief because I do truly feel supported by the universe by God and yeah it's exciting I feel like this is a great way to just like increasing my spiritual sort of like beliefs and just becoming um like more strongly connected to the divine I feel like that's going to help out through all the other areas of my life that I want to glow up and stuff so yeah that's my little two cents there now for the last part we have overall health and I did touch on this briefly when I talked about the physical stuff specifically with you know health and fitness and working out so as I mentioned, I do like go to the gym, I lift weights about five to six times a week. And in the summer specifically, my goals kind of change a bit, um, you know, throughout the winter time, throughout the fall, a lot of it is like bulk, 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 get as much muscle as I can. And I am still sort of working towards that because I did go through a period of not working out after my surgery. So I'm sort I'm like slowly getting back to all the weights that I was doing. Um, I've already surpassed many of them, but there's like a couple of lifts that I'm still like struggling on, like my squats, for example. My sort of way that I'm glowing up here is creating new workout regimens that are going to better meet my goals for the summer. So for example, my goal is now to lose a little bit of fat so I can like have more muscle definition, just overall look better in how, like look better, but better subjective to me, right? Like I, I have a very specific vision of how I want my body to look and i'm gonna do things to make my body look like that obviously this is not advice for everyone i'm just saying this is what what i'm doing um but so for example i don't want to necessarily eat less because i love to eat like i said i eat four meals a day um so instead of like getting my calorie deficit by eat, eating less food i've decided to just increase my movement so that include that includes like just reaching more steps um, I want to do 10,000 steps a day, but I know I'm not going to be able to because I work from home. I'm pretty sedentary. So I'm trying to increase it to 5,000. And then I'm doing a cardio session basically three, four to five times a week. Um, not a long one, probably like, you know, 10, 12 minutes just to basically burn a little bit of calories enough to put me in a deficit for the day. And in order for me to know what my deficit is, I'm tracking everything. So I'm tracking my weight. I'm tracking my calories um, in my fitness pal. And then I also have like another tracker. The reason I am saying that this is like helping for my glow up is because I have a healthy relationship with food. I have a healthy relationship with my weight. I have a healthy relationship with tracking things. If you don't have a healthy relationship with these things, I absolutely do not recommend like tracking to a T what you're eating, how much you weigh, all of that stuff. Um, but because I don't have that like specific issue, I'm able to do this um, without like getting obsessive about it. Other ways for health, I'm ensuring that I'm getting all my proper vitamins and nutrients. And I feel like they're important once again, all year round, but summertime, I just want to feel my absolute best and have the most energy, which is why I'm making sure that I'm taking my, you know, like my vitamin D, my calcium and magnesium, my B12, um, I also take pantothenic acid, which I've noticed helps a lot with my oil, oil production. Um, I'm taking this pill called a sense and essentially it's like a hormone balancing pill and it balances estrogen. So it flushes out extra estrogen from your body. And I've noticed that this has also helped me with me, uh, sort of managing my hormonal acne. 
and it's a perfect time to use it because I do notice that sometimes in the summer my hormonal acne gets worse for whatever reason. Um, I am taking my daily probiotics. I am ensuring that I'm getting enough greens in my diet and just in general like for me to feel my absolute best, I know that these vitamins and supplements help me. They just help clear my brain. You know, they help with the functions of my body. Um, yeah. And in addition to that, and in addition to that, health wise, anything that I've been sort of putting off, like for example, doctor's appointments, dental appointments, whatever appointments. I'm gonna do in the summer because as in the winter i don't want to leave my house i don't want to go to the doctor i don't want to go to the dentist but summertime there's no excuse you know you can go outside it's nice outside go to the doctor get your yearly checkup get your pap test get whatever you need to do go to the dentist get your cleaning um you know do all of those little maintenance things get blood work done get whatever you freaking need to get done um that's just gonna help with your overall health and yeah So yeah so that basically concludes this video i know that none of these things are like revolutionary um but it's just sort of like what i plan to do this summer to sort of just be my best version um and there's obviously a lot more than just you know physically looking good you know mentally like doing these certain things spiritually having that connection and being healthy a lot of it too has to do with like who you are and your personal character development and i feel like this summer i just want to show the best version of me to everyone um, and not just to select people and I also want to show that version to myself because a lot of times I'll show the best parts of me to my friends or to my partners or to whatever but then I don't give myself the same grace I don't give myself like the same version so that is another important part in this whole glow up um yeah, so that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will make an updated video with my nose job very soon. And I do have a bunch of other things that I want to film. It's so funny because I created like this entire list of things to film from like January to like freaking August. And have I done any of those? No. Why? Because number one, no time. Number two, all the things I want to do are so expensive. And I don't realize like how much money is going into these things. Um, yeah, so that's how it is but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed if you have any other tips that you would like you know you want to help me out with in my glow up comment that down below and yeah i will talk to you soon bye